I will not sign a bill that does not match the gravity of this moment. Governor Pritzker today said there are some energy issues that he will not compromise on after lawmakers failed to approve a proposal that was more than 900 pages long. Supporters said it would have made Illinois a national leader in clean energy. But opponents said it would have also triggered the largest electricity rate increase in state history. Political editor Mike Flannery has more. Business groups complained that the energy proposal included a $1 billion increase in electric utility rates. What blocked it from becoming law, though, were conflicting last-minute demands by environmentalists and unions, two core constituencies of Democrats in the General Assembly. Um, that, you know, when new things get thrown on the table, it makes it difficult to finally get to a conclusion. So we're close. Among unresolved disputes, whether to force the shutdown of generating plants powered by fossil fuels, such as coal and natural gas, Unions opposed it, even though many years in the future, clean energy advocates demanded it and liked the draft version that failed to pass. The, the story here is that Exelon lost. Exelon has lost here, and ratepayers and average citizens finally have gotten energy legislation that combats climate change. Contained in the sprawling piece of legislation was a new $700 million subsidy for three additional nuclear power plants owned by Exelon, ComEd's parent company. Without the subsidy, the utility giant threatens to shut down two nukes beginning this fall. Also included, incentives aimed at putting one million new electric vehicles on Illinois roads. We should have an industry, a whole industry of electric vehicles in Illinois based upon the clean energy principles that we set out. Governor Pritzker said talks continue aimed at bringing the sides together in these complicated negotiations. He said if there is a deal, he'll summon the House and Senate back to vote on it. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.